Roar. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to modded Terraria, the land of giants. <laughs> this is insane. So uh, Fargo just released uh, a new mod called Fargo's Sizinator that allows you to do this. <laughs> It allows you to do this. It allows you... Oh my god, you're sitting on the roof of the inn. That's not a chair. <laughs> Dude, this is insanity. Okay, so, um, yeah. Sizinator. Let's uh, put things back to normal for a little bit. Fargo's Sizinator. You can make NPCs larger, and that includes bosses and uh, enemies as well. Projectiles. You can make them larger. <laughs> <laughs> and items. This is crazy. And you can make them smaller, too. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, look at them. Is that one? Where are they? I think that's one. Very importantly, another mod that I was informed of launches a huge barrage of darts dealing massive damage. Interesting. Is... The mod is called... Where is it? I must find the item first. Captain's Desk. Guard Captain's Desk. Used for hiring guards from Wacky NPCs mod. Boom. This is going to be incredible. I don't know. Where do I want to put this? Right here. And now, if I stand in front of this Guard Captain's Desk, I can make, hire a guard with three gold each. So let me make three of these. And then a neatly written document. Look at this. I can make iron archer with iron chains. You could make NPCs that are basically just like guards. That they're not actual NPCs. They won't attack anything. They're just for decorations. But look, I could make desert town ones for our desert base. Look at all these. That is crazy. I'm going to populate my entire world, all my builds, with stationary townspeople but it's really cool look at this traveling gypsies that's awesome it's so awesome we got a regular iron guard down here also we got merfolk guards i'm gonna need a lot more gold though yes 100 victories from good old Goaty right here. He actually does win a decent amount of the time. So it's not like it is. This is an insanely good way to earn money. But it does take a little while to do it. Uh, but I did get this. He gave me this at like 60 victories. Something like that. Midas's gloves. 6% increased damage. 30% more coins dropped from enemies. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm going to keep that stuff on me. And then we'll just switch to that for now because I need some money. And it also, it's mighty. So 2% more damage and two, plus 2 defense. So the rain also just stopped. So I think I'm going to rebuild this house. I'm going to keep this shovel here. Hopefully I don't click on it by accident. Let me save. Whoops. <laughs> save a little bit and whip things because I want to make a permanent house here. Let me do this.
All right, I'm actually in the middle of building the uh, little boreal house right now. And I came over here to buy some of these chalices and I see this dynasty trowel for survive area, which I am buying for 10 gold, whatever. And I think when I get seeds now, uh, or when I dig up plants from survive area, all those plants that grow around, I can get seeds using this. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know if there's anything else I want, no. All right, sweet, let me go back to building now. All right, we are finished with that for now, and I would like to hire somebody right here. Uh, I would like to hire you. Iron guard number 10. Boom. All right, now, uh, let me just warp over here. So this is what we got so far. We got a little garden in progress right here. I'm gonna extend this out to here and there's gonna be like a well I think right here like a natural because we have this little little reservoir of water right there so maybe or maybe a fishing spot a fishing pond I'll make over here a little garden right here and then there's this frost furnace from juiced mod uh, I don't know if it's a special furnace like if there's things you could only make at a frost furnace but for now that's there and then we got this right here. It's not the greatest house I've ever made, but it is what it is. It's fine. Just fine. I tried decorating it with some of the labyrinth stuff from uh, Bismuth. And I just want to stick that right there. And then here, let me, uh, let's see, where are we putting this guard? Can I turn you? Yes, you can face different directions. So I can have the guard like right here. Oh no, I can't. It's in the way. Something's in the way. <laughs> or, let's see. I mean, I could put the guard mm, inside. I don't know if there's room inside. I want the guard there. Maybe I, I'll move the... Uh, yeah, we'll put the guard right underneath that. Maybe. Alright, there we go. And then this, we can put right there. That looks just fine. Perfect. And uh, before we go and do other stuff, let me just, I kind of want to put this all down here. The interesting thing is uh, I was using Calamity mod. I guess Calamity adds a dungeon wall. I don't know how I got that. I guess I made it and I didn't realize. Uh, or no, maybe I bought it. I think I bought it from the Clothier. I think that's where it came from. It's here. We just gotta do this. It's unsafe dungeon wall. <laughs> so it's gonna spawn dungeon enemies? I don't know. I used it here for this, but uh, after you mine it away or, you know, hammer it away or whatever, then it uh, it becomes... When you when you place it, it's unsafe. But then when you, when you hammer it away and you, it gets into your inventory again, I can't talk. Uh, it becomes safe again. So whatever. It's fine. It should be, should be just fine. I don't know. Inside the house anyway. Some of the stuff underneath the house is definitely still unsafe. 
All right, there is one other thing I want to try because I'm thinking about changing my class. But if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to teleport anymore because I'm not going to be an assassin anymore. I'm just considering right now becoming a ranger. And so if I can't teleport down to the elevator or whatever, elevator work in progress thingy, then uh, we're not going to be able to access it at all. So what I think I want to try to do is make one of those, I don't remember what it's called, but it's, uh, I think it uses silk rope. Get out of here. Go away. Silk rope. There's the, the elevator item from uh, the Tomaturgy mod. I want to try using one of those. I'll find it in a minute here. I want to try using one of those in here and then just like place the furniture back on top of it or whatever. Just so I have access to a elevator from inside here. Alright, I found it. It is the Terran Boar. Except I need 300 iridescent brick. So, um... We're going to be using all of our stone. Because, what did I use my stone on last time? Uh, I think I have a little bit more stone around. Let me just make this thing. So we need 300 iridescent brick. We need 100 silk rope coils. So I need to make a bunch of silk. But I can buy cobwebs from one of my NPCs, so it's fine. Diamond gem spark blocks, hopefully we can make them. Uh, star brass and auric cores are easy enough to make. Anyway, I'll see you after I have one, and we'll hopefully not destroy everything. Okay, here we are. So, standing right here, I'm gonna use this. Hopefully I catch all this stuff. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different things, yeah. So, three. Two, one, oof. All right, we didn't get everything. It despawned stuff. See, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Well then, I need to go and here. He's like, uh, what happened to my house? <laughs> Let me just fix his house real quick. Okay, now I'm just gonna fall down the entire thing and pick up stone. There's a bunch of stone. Stone, dirt, we got some plant matter and mud. Excellent. Let me just get all this stuff. Hopefully there's more. There may not be. I just want to see what it looks like as we fall all the way down. Next episode, I think we're going here. To the Obsidium. And fighting the Obsidium boss, Ragnar. We're going to be fighting a boss in this episode right after this. Alright, so nice. Now we have a elevator right in the middle of Bonasmalis's house every road leads to our city that's right even from below now <laughs> anyway and we have this right here which i'm gonna hire some more guards soon probably for next time uh anyway i want to fight a boss i want to fight a boss let's just jump in here and i'm pretty sure i will be able to make this um yeah this, i think it's this starplate beacon we're going to fight the Starplate Raider. I can make five of them. I can make five of them. Hopefully we don't die. But it's almost daytime. So you know what we're going to do for, for now? I'm going to fly all the way over to the uh, swamp. And just do that. Hey. Yeah, look at our nice little house with Desmond. Desmond living in it now. And, and all day long... Until, because we have to fight this boss at night. Wait, yeah, night sky, yes. We're gonna fight this boss at night, and it's daytime right now. So, oh, you know what I need also? Uh, we have three bottles. I just want to see if... If I could make this stuff here. Ah, oh, don't stand in it. Don't stand in it. So we got bottles. Can I make... Yes, poison flask. Right here, I can make more. Uh, I might as well make all three. So we got 12 flasks of poison. I need toad's eyes. So I'm all day long until, you know, until tonight. I'm going to stand around in here in the swamps and uh, hopefully have some toads spawn. Let me just chill out right over here until we get some. I hear you. Are you down here? Where are you? You're on that side. Come on, I don't care about the spikes. 
Where are you? What the heck? I'm getting... I'm hearing things. Oh, you're up there. <laughs> I thought it was down there. Oh, there was. It probably was down there. And then it, like, glitched through the ground or something. Look at this. I used a battle potion. Now I got a bunch of them. So I'm trying to get a bunch of toad's eyes so that I can make panaceas. All right? With the poison. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. Hound, poison, fern flowers, and toad's eyes. Three of them each. Because with panacea, I can make a great potion of oblivion to change my class and get all my skill points back. But also, panacea is remove, from, remove all status effects. So, I would like to be able to... Hooey! Yes. Ow. I would like to be able to make a bunch of those. Unfortunately, uh, we defeated the Swamp Witch. And uh, I think the Swamp Witch... Yeah, we can't steal their souls. I think the Swamp Witch sells panaceas. So if you don't... If you choose to not become a Merp or a, a Naga... With the, if you choose not to make this and you give her the stone, then you get to uh, buy panaceas from her and maybe other stuff. Pancakes and everything. That's why I bought so many pancakes. Because I I would like to always have them. Anyway, so I'm just going to sit here for a long time for the rest of the day and uh, cook up some swamp toads and hopefully get a bunch of eyes. I only got one, I think, so far. All right. I'll see you guys tonight, and then we'll fight Starplate Raider. All right, guys, it's 7 p.m., almost nighttime, and the uh, toad eyes are pretty rare. I only got... Look at... See? Yes. They do. They, they're they like slimes. They get all buggy. Come here. Now I got a bunch coming out. Man. only have seven of them. I spent the entire day. All right, let's just, uh, did you pop out over here someplace? No, you didn't. There's like hail falling now. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, we got a Swamp Hound banner and here, uh, keep the battle potions on me for now. We also got this, the Toad Gun, <laughs> which I guess is a rare drop from Toads. Only does 18 melee damage, but it hits multiple times. Basically, one of these. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make much use of it. But for now, we're just going to fly our way over to the... Well, here. You know what? Let's uh, do this. I like how it conserves momentum. And I like how we have a elevator right here now. <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> we're just going to go over the to the uh, Coliseum. Over here. Woo! Yeah, perfect. And... Alright, so I have some buffs. Do I need to eat? Nah, we're good. I got heart reach. We got iron skin. And we got... No. Despawn. Oh, wait. Let's actually... Where's my... Get battle out of here. Alright, let's go. Three, two... One. We'll zoom out all the way. Boom. Star Play Raider. Second worm boss. Ow. Cut it out. Here, you know what? Get toted. This is, does no damage to you. Do I have to hit you in the face? I think I do. Still, it's going to take forever to kill you with that. Oh, what about that? Oh my god. God, that was insanity. I don't even know, does this boss have another form? I don't remember. I do not remember. Uh, here, let's put this on. Oh my God, that's crazy OP. Uh, what about the whip? That would be amazing if we could whip. Whip bosses. <laughs> Bull whip to the face. Take that, all right. Uh, nah, this does no damage. That, the Warhammer of Grognak just totally wrecked you. I'm about to get wrecked. Here, let's do this. Get up here. And then, come here. I want, I want to do this. Whoa! 
Totally missed you. All right, it's okay. We can do it again. Boom. Boom. All right. Well, we finally defeated another boss, and we finally defeated another spirit mod boss, which is pretty cool. Oops, wrong. You know what? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, here, let's just quick stack all that in there. All right, perfect. And uh, let's see. I got a bunch of critters on me. Three, two, one. Boom. Astral map increases movement speed by 10% and critical strike chance by 4%. Getting hurt spawns stars from the sky. Okay. Star plate fragments. Star charger. Oh, converts arrows into star charged arrows, which we may have to use in place of that. 34. Now we do 40. Wait, converts probably regular arrows. We got that too. The uh, trophy. Nice. So. All right, star charged arrows it is. And then we could, yeah, we have that on. So it's like, dude, all right, craziness, craziness. I guess we'll keep that, three more gold. All right, I think that's it for today. Seven of these, man, how many do I need again? Three for each one. And then to make this, I need four. Five panacea. So I need to grind toads. I need to kill a lot of toads. Go toad hunting. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. I got my snake friend. Before we go, I must say thank you once again. He's not on this sign. He's not on this sign, but he's on a few or a couple. A Gurgo 100. For being, for telling me, like, amazing. Uh,. I'm just going to say, get the wacky NPCs. Is it NPCs? Wacky NPC mod. Because it's so good. Like, I'm so happy about that. I'm going to make more. I think for next episode, probably, like, this week I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming. Like, I want to do, like, crazy amounts of streaming this week. Like, every single day. So, if you want to check me out streaming live, like, I'm going to be doing a variety of things. I think I'm going to start a No Man's Sky playthrough this week. Uh, every day, twitch.tv slash furyforged. I just, I've been streaming for a while, but sporadically here and there, whenever I can find the time. But I stream every Sunday at usually 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, but sometime, I may stream this. I don't know. We might do like a chill a chill building stream and I'm thinking about you know spending an entire day just working on this just getting this like going you know I think I want to widen this area right here I think it's a little too narrow for me uh for my uses and then we'll get like just I don't know a bunch of it finished the towers over here possibly and then for next episode I'll have it finished and then I want to go down into the Obsidium, probably, down here. Get up, like, fully explore it. It's going to be, a, it's like a huge heart-shaped biome. It's going to be, like, probably that big on both sides. There's a bunch of loot in it, a bunch of houses and stuff. And then we'll fight Obsidium, or Obsidian, or, uh, not Obsidium. We'll fight Ragnar. <laughs> That's his name. Anyway, uh, until then, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you're safe. I hope all your family and loved ones are all doing great. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Peace out.